This will be a quick tutorial demonstrating how to use the Panopto Student Dropbox in your classes. First we'll demonstrate how to create your Panopto folder and connect your particular course to Panopto. I'm going to go to Tools. We need to go find the Panopto tools. So I'll go to the Tools menu within my course. Go to Panopto Focus Content. Now here you'll see my course has not been provisioned with Panopto. I just click the Configure button. The default folder is fine. Add the course to Panopto. And uh, this page will let me know that what we're doing. Um, if I'm doing this for my live course, I will of course see all of my students in there. Right now this is a demonstration course, so I don't have any students. I hit OK and let it, let it do its thing. Once we reach this page, uh, I, if there were other folders I wanted to add to it, other folders that are available, uh, I could go find them in here and bring them in, but um, since I'm just going to be using content that I create for this course in this course, I'm just going to leave the existing folder there. And hit Submit. And now I'll see I have the other options beyond the configure. Um, I can have the links to download the actual recorder tool and uh, I can actually go into Panopto itself. So that's how you configure it. So now that we have it configured, we should be able to record directly into that particular folder for this course. So to demonstrate that, let's start up our Panopto recorder. If I don't already have it downloaded and, and it's installed, I can set it up here. But I already have it installed and uh, I'm set up. I can hit Create New Recording and that brings up this one. Now this is the Mac version. The PC version will look a bit different. Uh, you'll need to get used to figuring out what those tools are. But what I wanted to show you is my folder for this panopto.dev uh, Panopto demonstration course is already there and available to me. So I did just create that and now it's available. I can name my session and I can start recording um, and record the PowerPoint and the screen capture and audio video, whatever I want to record. And then whatever I record will then uh, upload into that folder and become available as a link here on this page for my students. So that's how that works. Um, you've seen uh, broader definition or, or demonstrations of that, um, but that's how that works. But our next step is going to be demonstrating how to allow your students to do their own Panopto recordings. For that, we'll take another step. Now let's talk about how to set this up so that my students can record. One of the first things I'm going to want to do is go over to the Panopto, what I need to do is go over to Panopto. Probably the easiest way to get there, especially since I need to go right to the folder settings, is going to be to click on the Panopto folder settings link that's on the Panopto page in my Blackboard course. So here it's dropped me right into that specific course that we created. And the, the folder that we created, if I go up here to the overview, I'll see Create Dropbox as this option here. So I can control the name, I can add a description. Control drop, Create Dropbox. This Dropbox is going to be a place for my students to deliver their content. So I'll hit Create Dropbox and now it's created that Dropbox for me. It's just a folder. So now if I go over here and look for my course, there's my Panopto drop.dev and if I use the triangle to open it up there's my Dropbox, and that's also available. Now, once I've got this folder, I'm going to want to grab that address so that I can give that in, as a link to my students. So if I go back to my course, just so that they can go back in there and review that and take a look at what's going on in there. So I can go into my course content, and let's create a new assignment. going to create an assignment so and we'll just make sure we 
give them a link to the Dropbox folder. And I'll create that link for it. Give it a title. And insert it. And hit submit. Now, I need to give the credit be an assignment that works. I have to give it points. It's always a good idea to use rubrics. And I'll hit submit. So, now I've created an assignment and I'll be asking my students to go in and deliver their assignments into this folder. So, uh, in the next video I'll show you what the students see and how they'll actually deliver their videos there. This video will be a quick demo of what the students see. So in this case I'm logged in with a test student account that's also a student in this particular course. Um, I wanted to show you one thing, show you what the tools view of that Panopto folder looks like for the student. You'll notice they, they, when there are recordings in that folder that we've created as the instructor, they'll be listed there, although it's just going to be text, it's not going to be particularly attractive. Um, there's also no download link links there, so we're going to have to uh, help the students find another way to download. But if I go to that content folder where we created the assignment, I can click on the Dropbox link and that will open up, if I open this link, we'll open up the Panopto folder. Now in here, you'll see that it's gone. I've gone right to the Dropbox folder that we linked to, and I don't see anything there. Now, I already have uh, Panopto downloaded and set up on this computer with the student account. So if I go into create a new recording here, I can select that particular folder, that's an important step. So give it a title, and I'm going to record my screen capture and my audio. Um, I could record a PowerPoint if I was going to do PowerPoint, and hit Start Recording. Um, now this is going to go through the process of recording. It's capturing the camera. It's capturing the microphone. Uh, as soon as I'm done and I've you know delivered everything I wanted to do in this particular exercise, I hit stop. Um, it's going to go through a process here where it uploads to the site. It gets queued for processing, then it gets processed. The length of the presentation will obviously control all these, so in some cases longer presentations will take longer to uh, be processed. But you will receive an email once it's complete. So. Uh, we will check back. I'm going to pause and we'll come back as soon as this is done. All right, we're back and it's telling me that it's completed, that encoding has reached 100%. So let's go to our Dropbox folder and refresh and see if my video there. There's my video. So uh, as a student, I've been able to upload that to the site. If I go in as the instructor now and I go back to my Dropbox folder. You'll see the student recordings don't show up here. So I'll need to go out to the Panopto folder. Now then this is as the instructor. And I'll go to my Panopto Dropbox folder and refresh it. And I can see that assignment that is there as well from that student. As the instructor, uh, any recordings that I create will show up here and I can then use that link in other places throughout the, the site as well. But that's how it works for the students.